Did you know that there's a metal that can melt just a little bit warmer than room temperature? And no, I am not talking about mercury. Do you have any guesses? Da -da 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 -da. This metal is gallium. Gallium can also destroy aluminum as if it was paper, which is absolutely insane. As a result of these properties, I'm going to make some 3D printed molds so that I can create some metal creations, and I'm going to destroy my M1 MacBook Pro. Otherwise, let's just hop straight into it and make some 3D printed molds. But first, I'm going to jump off this cliff. Woohoo! And there we go, I'm back. Let's do it. The first mold I wanted to try out was of course a lizard, so I went and made a basic outline of the lizard before I started sculpting on the top to get a little more depth. Then with the lizard made, I made an oval shape around the lizard and then made it solid and used the lizard to cut into the new object. I then put this on the printer and just like that my first mold was made, but I did end up using flexible filament so that it would be able to come out, the metal that is. I ended up deciding to first try this out with water, just to make sure that it wouldn't seep into the mold, since this isn't solid filament. The result was actually surprising, instead of seeping in like I actually kind of thought it would, it actually created more of a bubble. It was also kind of hard to see if the water was actually in it or not, as you can see from the video, it was rather easy to spill. Anyways, let's try this with gallium. I got my cubes, which were solid due to the house being 70 degrees, so I heated them up a small bit, and got a syringe. With the gallium in a syringe, I started spreading it through the mold, which actually was harder than I anticipated due to the gallium clumping together. I then popped it in a freezer, and literally only 10 minutes later, it was completely solid. To get it out, I just started applying pressure to the flexible mold, and eventually got this. I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but it still surprised me that this gallium appeared to be a standard metal in every way once I got it out. It even appeared to make the same noise. <laughs> you can even hit it. Sounds really cool. Honestly, after realizing how convincingly this is like a metal, I had an awesome idea where it'd be really funny on April Fools to give someone like a gallium bracelet which when they go somewhere warmer with it, it would melt and they would just be so confused it would also be hilarious. Anyways, back to the lizard mold. I ended up wanting to see how strong it was so I just barely threw it up in the air and it actually broke the legs and tail which I totally wasn't expecting. The nice part is though, you could just melt the rest of the lizard and then reform it. Well, before I finish up with the molds, I wanted to try one more thing, but this time a Blender logo. Once all modeled and printed, I repeated the process that I did with the lizard and got this, a metal Blender logo. Just like the metal lizard, the result was really cool. By the way, if you have a 3D printer and have some gallium laying around, then the molds will be on Prusa printers if you want to print them out. Otherwise, let's move on to destroying aluminum. Before going straight to the MacBook, I decided to give it a try with an aluminum can. I ended up scratching the surface and then applying the gallium. Annoyingly, I accidentally put too much because like I mentioned earlier, the gallium seems to clump together. Though after only 10 to 15 minutes, I came back to this. I then applied some pressure and my finger broke through what was solid aluminum just a few minutes before. Ironically, some of that extra gallium that I applied went into the can, and it turns out there was still water, which caused another reaction, which was just the gallium fizzling with the water. Now that we've seen what it can do, let's try it with the MacBook screen. Honestly, it felt really weird scratching the MacBook and then putting something on that I knew would demolish it. After leaving it alone for a little while, I came back to find the gallium had gone underneath what I'm guessing is the paint, which did this. Yeah, kind of odd. What the heck? I honestly just tended to just poke this thing. What the heck? Though when I applied pressure with my finger, it did end up breaking through. 
which seems crazy because anyone that has a MacBook would know that they really aren't that brittle at all. I ended up just going to town on the MacBook and eventually had a pretty big hole. But that wasn't enough, so I added more gallium to the other side and did the same thing. Okay, so this is weird. Look at how, like... No, it doesn't look... Oh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> you can literally just snap it. Oh, there it goes. Yep, ultimately, anyone that ever tried to use this MacBook screen would totally fail. I ended up even getting the Apple logo out. <laughs> Just for fun, because I realized I probably wouldn't get this opportunity again, so I decided to throw the MacBook screen. <laughs> and hit it with a hammer. Yeah, I may have gone a little overboard, but it was pretty interesting. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!